Hey everyone, welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you're returning. So, let me just say this. I will always be here for a good read. I will always be here for a good, you know, Takashi level troll. And Lana Good says, I'm on to you. I see what you're doing. It's cute. So I wake up this morning and all of a sudden I see Lana Del Rey is trending. Lana Del Rey is everywhere. I'm not even on social media. If y'all caught my other videos, y'all already know that. I, and somehow it made it to me. Everywhere I was turning, I'm seeing Lana Del Rey. I was like, okay, I don't know. Maybe she came on some music. I am a little bit familiar with her music, but I don't really listen to her stuff because I can't relate. It's not my vibe. I'm not, you know, I'm just not feeling it. Not every artist you can connect with. And she's one that I don't necessarily connect with because I listen listened to a couple of her songs like years ago and I was just like I don't know they sound a little dark things are just kind of dreary a little a little much you know not my vibe and and we don't we're not the same type of people or similar people I don't think we have similar energy so yeah not feeling it so anyway let's get into what she wrote on IG this morning so she had a question for the culture uh now that Doja Cat or Ariana Camilla Cardi B, Kaylani, and Nicki Minaj, and Beyonce, that's a lot of ands, okay, and Beyonce have had number ones with songs about being sexy, wearing no clothes, effing, cheating, etc. Can I please go back to singing about being embodied, feeling beautiful by being in love, even if the relationship is not perfect, or dancing for money, or whatever I want without being crucified or saying that I'm glamorizing abuse, question, 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 question mark. Here's the thing. I feel like she started out wrong. Because the first thing she said was, uh, you know, I have a question for the culture. Those women that you named are not in the same culture that you're in. So I heard a lot of people saying they think her stuff was racist and, you know, this, that, and other. I mean, she did name, a, she named a, at least one or two white women. And then a couple people that, you know... I would consider white but they may not consider themselves white so not everybody on that list is black so i'm not even gonna go with the racism thing because that's not what i see what i see is she see she made a good point if you take race out of this uh the women that that did you know are getting noticed it's not for being the most prestigious and prim and proper and all together that's not what they're getting noticed you know those are not the women that are getting noticed the women that are getting noticed are for, are doing salacious things and controversial things so i get what she's saying i think she's she's meaning to say why why are they getting notoriety for their controversial ways and their you know uh, I guess it would be sinister ways, but my sinister words that I speak and the things that I engage in that are not necessarily societal standard of acceptance, you know, they don't meet the societal standards of acceptance. Why are the, why am I being condemned for my stuff, but they're not? So they can be naked and, and do all this other stuff, but I can't talk about a man black in my eye and loving it. Like, you know, so I think the problem is you're pandering to the not even gonna say pandering but your your group is a different group when you have different dem demographics that's because you appeal to other people to different senses in that group so i would say that you wouldn't carry the same uh your core base is not going to be the same core base as say cardi b or let's say doja cat you're not going to have the same core base as them so you can't expect their audience to get your vibe because if they got your vibe you'd have to switch up your vibe and then it would match closer to theirs and everything would be fine they don't relate to what you're doing but for your core audience whether they like you or not your audience would be the one that would be complaining about the con the uh the content that you give them so you have completely different you know you can't say a question for the culture because your culture is not the same culture as called the cardi b's culture simple as that you don't talk about the same things that they talk about the people who are get your vibe and are into your music are not going to be into theirs and probably vice versa so you already started off wrong by coming at them because you're looking at people who are in this lane and saying oh well this is acceptable over here there's a lot of things that are acceptable in this culture that you are not a part of, but that wouldn't be accepted in the culture that you're actually a part of so you need to deal with your people you need to figure out which lane you want to be in if you want to be over there with cardi and doja you're gonna to have to switch up a whole bunch of things about yourself your ideologies you're just gonna to have to switch up a lot but if you want to stay where you're at the people over there where you're at they don't like all that so that's why you get the backlash that you get but it's not the the cardi core uh, core fans are not the ones complaining about what you have going on that's your group and i think you're trying to group everybody together like people accepted them but they won't accept me no 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 
their people accepted them. Your people would never accept Cardi B. Well, they might because Cardi B having some bops, but you know, your crew would never accept Cardi. And Cardi's crew would never even listen to your music to accept you one way or another. So that's the problem. You, you trying to combine it like, oh, they. No, it's not a they. It's them and us. So that's number one. Let's keep going. I'm fed up with female writers and alt singers saying that I glamorize abuse when in reality, I'm just a glamorous person singing about the realities of what we are all now seeing are very prevalent, emotionally abusive relationships all over the world. <sighs> I don't even know where I want to go with this one. I don't. I mean, yeah, you're talking about it. it <sighs> Do you not understand that when you sing about certain things and you glamorize those things, that's the issue. That's what you're catching a flag for. You're catching, you know what it is. Don't play crazy. Once again, I feel like this is Takashi level uh, 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 trolling going on because when we get to the bottom of this, we see what was really real. So let's keep rolling. With all of the topics women are finally allowed to explore, I just want to say over the last 10 years, I think it's pathetic that my minor lyrical uh, exploration detailing my sometimes submissive or passive roles in my relationships has often made people say I've set women back hundreds of years. Once again, that's what your group has said to you. Just like your group has probably said that Cardi has set women back, has said that Doja has set women back, has definitely said that Nicki Minaj has set women back. Who are you listening to with this feedback? That will determine how you're how you're you know how you're interpreting this and, and whether or not you're interpreting it right or not as gonna say right, but accurately. Your group is not, they not, they're not calling, they're not rooting for Cardi, I promise you. I mean, they may be in the privacy of their own home, but they wouldn't tell their friends and their family. So you you dealing with, this is apples and, and, and freaking paint. These are the two worlds apart, come on. Let this be clear. I am not, not a feminist. Hold on, you're not, not a feminist, so are you a feminist? Because that is a double, double negative equals positive. So I'm a feminist. Okay, so let me read this again. Um, I'm a feminist, but there has to be a place in feminism for women who look and act like me. Okay, so she meant to say I'm not, you know, I'm not a feminist. I, don't, I think that was a double not. I think it was a typo. Let's keep rolling. So let this be clear. I'm not not a feminist, but there has to be a place in feminism for women who look and act like me. The kind of women who says, no, but men here, yes. The kind of women who are slated mercilessly for being their authentic, delicate selves. The kind of women who get their own stories and voices taken away from them by stronger women or by men who hate women. Girl. Girl. So what, what are you talking about? What, what, what even are you saying? Like, there is a place like, okay, we're gonna, let's, let's, let's take it back. Let's take it back. She said... There has to be a place in feminism for women who look and act like me. The kinds of women who says no, but men hear yes. If you say no and a man hears yes, that makes you probably every woman on the planet. What difference does it make what a man hears? If you said it, that's what it is. So are you telling me if a man says no? If you say no and a man says yes, you go with yes? So, I mean, there is a place and a voice for women like y'all. It's called weak. That's weak. The kind of women who are slated mercilessly for being their authentic, delicate selves. What is your definition of delicate? I'm confused. The kind of women who get their, who get their own stories and voices taken away from them by stronger women or by men who hate women. I mean, so there are plenty of men who hate women, and I was thinking about doing a video on that soon, but I, what do you mean? No, nobody can take your voice unless you allow them to. Like, you're not you're not Ariel. This is not Little Mermaid, and nobody just snatched your voice. And even with that, Ursula didn't snatch her voice. She made a deal, and she gave up her voice. So is that what you're telling me y'all women are doing? Y'all are making up deals. Y'all are making deals with people, and you're allowing them to control you, and then you wanna cry victim once you get controlled. I don't understand that. So yes, I mean, I don't, you know, you're saying like ugh, fragile or would you say delicate? What is a delicate woman? Every woman is delicate in her own way, is she not? Like I, you just, I feel like you got a lot going on and you probably should have just, someone should have came and took your phone last night. I 
I've been honest and optimistic about the challenging relationships I've had. Newsflash, that's just how it is for many women. And that, uh, and that was sadly my experience up until the point that those records were made. So I just wanna say it's been a long 10 years of bullcrap reviews up until recently and I've learned a lot from them. But I also feel it really paved the way for other women to stop putting on a happy face and to just be able to say whatever the hell they wanted to in their music. Unlike my experience where if I even expressed a note of sadness in my first two records, I was deemed literally hysterical as though it was literally the 1920s. Anyways, none of this has anything to do about much, but I'm, I'll be detailing some of my feelings in my next two books of poetry. You know what? We're going to stop right there. There it is. And that, my friend, is how you trend and you troll your way to the top. All right, y'all. Make sure you guys have subscribed to my channel. Hit the blue bell for notifications. Thumbs me up. And... <laughs>
I'm not getting enough buzz. I'm getting the urban buzz, but I'm not getting that that buzz buzz. So then she decided to take it white stream and not mainstream, white stream. I said it, white stream. And now she's going to political route. So now she's really going to be trending. All I can say is good job. I like what you did and I'm taking notes. All right, make sure y'all have subscribed to my channel. Hit the blue off for notifications and I'm out.